Shalom, Yasharala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, upgrade millstone and citations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel that's coming out of our Bible, that come out of our Bible, man, and um, yeah, we're blessed. We're the blessed people of the Bible. You got these Christians in the churches, right? They read, they read the Bible, right? And when we talk about the Christians, let's talk about the black Christians, the Hispanic Christians you got in the church, right? The, Is the, the Israelites that are in churches, these churches, and these Christian churches, right? Reading about the people of the Bible, right? What's the main thing they read about these people? How these people are cursed? How these people go through trials and tribulations, right? How these people would, um, lose their homeland and be slaves unto other people. And for, for some simple reason, they can't put put the put this puzzle together that they are those people that this bible is talking about man the bible is talking about you negroes you hispanics and native americans because you are the ones who lost your identity man you are the one who discontinued from your heritage like the bible told you to like the bible said you would do it due to what um us breaking the laws and statutes of the heavenly father right because um when we got sent over here to the americas right when we got kidnapped by esau edom what did esau edom do he separated he broke the household right house divided right he um separated the mothers from their children the fathers from their children right sent one people to this um slave land sent one people to this plantation right and so in the, in the scriptures they said they dealt wisely with us man they dealt wisely with us man and um pretty soon the lord's gonna finish this um this captivity of ours man this captivity of ours is coming to a full end and it's only gonna be more more <laughs> more terrors coming more terrors coming because the Bible said um these are only the beginnings of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows for a lot of you Jakes. I'm gonna read the book of Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will, I will strengthen thee, yea. I will upload thee with the right hand of my righteousness. The not the knowledge and wisdom of this gospel, man. Only thing to keep you stable in the times to come. Only thing to keep you stable in the times to come, because we know um your weaponry um when you run out of bu bullets, what happened? <laughs> you run out of your faith. <laughs> yeah, when when you look at um the churches was closed for damn near what two years due to coronavirus. So a lot of people, man, they stopped going to church. They stopped believing that bullshit, right? They found out they preachers was um full of shit, right? They preachers was full of shit. So um, but hey, guess what? The men of Great Millstone, we kept preaching. The gospel did not stop over here at Great Millstone. The gospel continued, man. Why? Because the Lord is with us, man. I'm read um <laughs> I'm read the book of Romans eight and twenty eight. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good. I'm gonna read that again. We and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. So when that C one nine broke down, what happened? The men of the Lord, yeah, we didn't take no jab. We um we we I still got my job and I ain't take no jab. Right? A lot of brothers um didn't take the jab and they still got their jobs. But a lot of you motherfuckers, you took the jab and guess what? You still lost your jobs, right? You still lost your jobs because you didn't want to take the second round, the third round, right? And it reads um, Romans 8 and 28. But we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are called according to his purpose. And what are we called according to do? To do this work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh yeah, these people, they, they that's their problem if they don't want to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We was called to do something, and we're going to run with it. What We we have pleasure in fulfilling the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. These people got pleasure in fulfilling what? The lust, the flesh. So what, man? The Lord going to destroy a lot of them. I'm going to read the book of. I'm going to go to Romans. There with me. Here we go. Hmm. So, so lucky. This is Psalm 62 and 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Yeah, that's why you got to put your trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not in man, not in sword, not in self. Right? We're going to continue to push this, this doctrine. Because a lot of people don't fail because why? They pride because they trusted in themselves, right? And we come into the times the Lord is going to bring down anything that is high. Anything that is high. Man, you look at the rulers of this society, they're being brought down as we speak right now. They're no longer as powerful as they used to be.
they no longer um have the stronghold over the minds of the people like they used to. So what's happening? They're being brought down. They're being brought down through the power of Yah by Shemi Shai. And I'm going to read it. It says, Psalm 62 and 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. That's why we pushing Yah by Shemi Shai. Shai. So the elect can have something to hope on, something to depend on, something to put their faith in, right? The Lord, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. I shall not be greatly moved. I'm going to go to the book. John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me he might have peace. And the Lord sent Yahweh Shai to bring us back to the Father. The like the Lord sent Yahweh Shai to die for our sins. Right? The Lord, that's what's bringing us back to the Heavenly Father when the Lord died for our sins. Though, starting with the elect of Yahweh Yasharala. I'm going to read it. says, um, John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in, in me ye might have peace. In the world, ye shall, have, ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs> it says be of good cheer when you go through tribulation because you're supposed to go through tribulation, man. We keep telling you this ain't supposed to be an easy road, man. It's supposed to be a rocky road, man. First off, you are still in captivity. You are still underneath the hands of your enemies, man. You're still in, you're still in, you, you are still a possession. And the possessors, man, they slay you and they hold themselves not guilty, man. They, they, hey, man, look, man. They, they say, thank you, Lord. You done gave us some slaves to build up a land. You done gave us free land. You think this devil want to give up all this free stuff that he got, <laughs> right? Hell no, he don't want to give it up. So he's going to go out with a bang, man. That's why it talks about our enemies, our enemies being saved from the hand of our enemies, man. It's not talking about us um, destroying our enemies. It's talking about uh, our Messiah, our Lord, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, coming back to deliver us from the hands of our enemies. That's what this Bible is talking about, man. I'm going to read the book of, mm, we got to read the book of Psalms. Hmm, Psalms 50 and 15. And it reads, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. And um, yeah, we gonna we we st we glorifying the Lord before even the day of trouble, man. Because we um we putting our faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua before trouble even comes. Because we already know we don't want to be late, man. It's better to be what um they say, better to be five years early than five minutes late, <laughs> and that makes a lot of sense. Because, um, yeah, once you say you for five seconds late and the, the train already done pulled off, now you done miss your ride. You done miss your ride. So, we're going to, man, hey, man, we're going to stick with you. How about Shimi outside? Because th there's nothing that this world has to offer us. <laughs> there's nothing that this society has to offer a righteous man, man. This society is here to pollute the, the minds of the people, right? Here to um, give you abominable foods, right? Here to lead you towards the MOTB. So, why the fuck would we trust in this goddamn place, man? Only a psychotic person would trust in this place, like like the sodomites, right? These entertainment-loving people, man, they trust in this bullshit, right? But we already know, man, we trust in the Lord. I'm going to read the book of... Psalms 138 and 8. Yahweh will per <clears throat> I'm gonna read it. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not my works with thine own hands. And that's why we put in work. Yeah, we're not gonna wait till all hell to fucking break loose. Lord, Lord, or try to please the Lord. No, we're gonna we're, hey, it's better to be 50 years early than five seconds late, man. Shalom.